what's up fellow collectors now um you know it's been a month since my last review I've, I've, I've got a bunch of figures mostly old ones you know i haven't really gotten the new ones but in this next coming months uh, i'm gonna have some some really good ones um like the batman armory but for now you know i'll decided to review this figure the movie just came out expendables 3 um a great figure you know i, I picked this one up maybe not a few months ago uh, at eBay for a really good price and I was surprised you know the box you know as usual we'll start off with that but you know just talking about the figure itself it's it's surprisingly good you know um, you get a lot of things you know bang for your buck uh, the packaging is it's okay you know uh, the movies is, is so so you know it all depends on how you look at things obviously this is not your usual you know it's kind of cheesy in a way, but if you grew up in the 80s or so, or in the 90s, you're going to relate because that's how action mu movies was uh, made back in the day. And most of our action heroes are here. Uh, in the back of the box, you can see all the people responsible for this great figure. And I guess that's the Expendables 2 you know, side view of you know the guns and everything coming out of the skull. Uh, yeah, overall, I'm really happy. And um, now we're going to go to the accessory section which would be a lot you know comes with a standard hot toys base comes with a bunch of hands um they're really good well, not, not your usual hands they, they got a bunch of um uh you know um accessories in it uh, really detailed some of them has this you know kind of glove i don't know what you call this leather wristlet or whatever you call them uh that stallone wore throughout the movie uh this is actually for expendables 2 not the expendables one but yep i i haven't seen expendables 3 this is one of the reasons i decided to um you know do a review on this figure but it's 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 good either way i i, I wouldn't think that he would change his costume but then again i haven't seen the movie there you go that's the wristlet it's it's a pretty good um pretty cool looking you know change of pace you know compared to your usual just typical hands you know there's one hand here that he has a ring um, not sure where it's at but you know I'm just trying to show you the details uh, that little rubber thing you just put it on his wrist and it goes right in I believe it's this one you know he's always wearing this uh, this ring throughout the movie and it's pretty cool I don't know if he makes them or whatnot but if if my camera just decides to focus you know I found out something that because I'm, I'm currently using a Canon um, macro lens for 60mm um, for those who for those of you who has it as you can see the details of the rings really cool I'm not sure what that is going back to my lens uh, it's an autofocus and it's I'm using a 70d for Canon and um, you know anyone who has 70d knows how it works you just tap the screen and it focus but the lens sometimes doesn't want to cooperate with you so I just realize that you can manually adjust it so not on this well, not while i'm filming this but on my next new uh, few reviews coming up you'll see a, a better um i would say focusing technique on this one i wouldn't even call that a technique i just didn't know how to make you know to work on the lens so yep here you go so there's a bunch of hands like i said some of them have some full gloved hands this is uh, a trigger finger this this figure comes with so much accessories that even the hands looks cool you know, I, I, I didn't know, I, I wouldn't have thought that I'm going to say that into this figure because this is not on my radar at all. Because Expendables 2, like I said, didn't really like the movie. It was okay. You know, it's a popcorn movie, but it's it's alright. It comes with a totally, you know, second set of outfit. Um, you know, see the, the his shoe. This is for his casual look. See, you know, this, uh, it's, it's made out of rubber, not out of leather or anything, so nothing really special there. There you go. So it, you just, you know, just normal shoe, you just put the wrist, pe uh, I mean, the foot pegs inside, and it should just fit right in. And um, yeah, it looks like leatherish, but it's not. It's, um, you know, made out of rubber. And um, here you go, some, some of his outfit. You can easily create a second uh, it comes even comes with a belt i didn't even notice that you, know, you got to be really careful because these things are you know kind of delicate nicely tailored you know you can sport this look to him or if you want to create a second barney ross it's up to you just need a body you know i don't even think you need the real barney ross body because well maybe you should it's, it's not that expensive anyway if you decided to pick one up um 
this you know this denim vest with this casual shirt pretty sweet looking you know, everything fits too i mean i was kind of scared in the beginning because they're too tight but once you get the hang of it you know it just takes a little bit of futzing here and there he has so many outfits that he even has this black shirt that even after you've put this outfit on you can you can put this separately and it's it's amazing i mean you can use this in a separate figure if you wanted to you know i, I have a i'm trying to bash a, a dx13 not a dx13 but i'm you know trying to get another dx13 head because i want to use that that head sculpt so i might use this black shirt and this is his uh if you know here you go awesome you know as you can see that uh logo of expendables yep one of his hats his beret hat i think he comes with a, the painter hat the one for uh that is mostly for his tactical look and if you want to go more casual this is what you're gonna wear uh, you know right next to them the jeans not jeans but you know his jeans vest and whatnot pretty cool i i believe on the first one i was watching some videos it was actually cloth which is cool but it, it, it's kind of funny looking when he's wearing it because it's it doesn't stay in place i'm glad that they went this route which it's it's kind of you know it, there's a plastic inside and now you're looking at his vest um it has a t-shirt attached to it but you, you can remove that you know i just decided that you know i'll just put them all together this is how it came out of the package but going back to his um this hat his beret uh the only thing that i'm kind of worried about is once you wear it on him for a long time that would leave some marks because it's black and you know that tends to happen but who knows and now some ess goggles for you who collects i don't know if you anyone who served or you know play some paintball or something like that you can see uh it's a real company ess they make good goggles you know they they fog but not too much you know some of them have fans on top i remember on my our, our uh, like airsoft days when we used to play uh this is uh, a good goggles to have not too much fogging especially when you're sweating or whatnot but yeah they captured because i have the exact same goggles back in the day so yeah captured it nicely this one is his um i want to call this ray-bans because that's what he wore on the movie and fits him perfectly as well love that i guess i can use this for you know other figures as well i, I really don't want to leave some you know something on the face of my um on my figures because i'm always scared that it's gonna you know what do you call this stain them or something you know leave some marks the only one that I left on was my Catwoman because, I mean, she's not Catwoman without that. But and the three-point sling for his uh, CQB M4, pretty cool. You just snap that end to the stock of his gun. And extendable too, you know. It's kind of garterized. So, and this is the uh, M4. Yeah, this one's loaded. He has the PEQ, you know, on the side of the railing of his gun, he has some, I forgot what you call that scope, he has some um, flashlights at the end. I like the fact that, I don't know if it's paint, maybe it's metallic paint that they put in there, but it looks like it's reflective. You can see it, you know, it looks like, you know, it, it can emit light, but it doesn't really. So, you know, look at that. Yeah, it looks like it's on, but it's not, you know, that that's, that's a cool feature. And the red dot. I wouldn't call that red dot, but it looks like a red sight, you know, on his uh, scope. That's pretty cool as well. And another cool thing about this gun, which I didn't show in this video, is that it, it, in a real M4, you can, you know, it's it, in two parts, which you could actually do. Uh, you know, that is, the magazine is removable. But yeah, going back to the gun, it's pretty cool. It's it's attention to detail is just amazing. Look at the grip. It is texturized just like in a real gun. Um, it even has the um, look at that. Everything the the stock just extends as well. Everything. It's amazing. And I think you can flip up that that rear sight as well. I, I didn't try it on this one, but I believe you could. And the stock. That's where you uh, insert the. Um, oh, oh, there you go. I, I guess I did you know it's pretty cool and then you can open this just like everything else you know just like most of the guns from hot toys 
The railing is pretty cool. A lot of details just on the M4 itself, and it's amazing. <clears throat> and like I said, I, I wish I'd have shown it maybe in another video or so when I use this gun for another, you know, for a bashed item. But because this guy comes in with so many guns, he doesn't even need this one if he if I wanted to. Look at that texturized everything, and I I like guns, you know, it's, you know. So um, I'm a big fan whenever I see figures like this. Mostly I collect superheroes, but every once in a while when I get like this military-esque figures I'm, I'm marveled by the weaponry that they have and now we're gonna move on to his revolver don't know what type of revolver this is it's pretty cool this one cocks back that's the hammer this is I was trying to figure out to take this out because you can see some bullets in there I was hoping maybe you know it pops out but it doesn't that's okay you know it's pretty cool nice details on this one as well nothing special this goes in the back he has a holster on the back of his uh, pants so it's pretty cool uh, you know what honestly I've seen expendables too not sure maybe may, I'm pretty sure this is the gun that he used I just didn't notice it you know the expendables logo um, it's like a 45 it's like an M9 but could be wrong it's a lot of weathering effects on it it's cocks back as well and you know just a normal hot toys fashion you know you can Pulled up, you know, the magazine out and the barrel, you know, it just extends. Pretty cool. Oh, you can see the weathering. It looks like a real metal, but it's not. It's made out of plastic. Some really, really nice paint job by Hot Toys. There you go. Some expendables. And he, this one comes with two guns. So, yep. There you go. So one bullet inside on the clip. Let's put it back. Some nice paint job. So, you know, there's variation of poses that you can have him. You can have him holding two guns or, you know, just trying to reach for the gun on his back. I, at first, I decided to, you know, just go on with the figure, but so many accessories. It's amazing. And this watch, I love this watch. Let me show you this and, and you know, let me do a close up, ma some macro shots. You know, let's put this um, $300 lens to use if it does indeed focus this. Like I said, this is my experimental face. I actually read the manual this time. You look some YouTube, and there you go. I finally got it to focus. You know, you can see some details on it. Uh, a naked eye, you won't really get this close. Yeah, I mean, you don't. No one would, you know, pay this close attention. But it's the nice touch. You can see all the details and in the wrist. You know, and his, uh, the bracelet. It's pretty awesome, and it kind of I, I love it because it hides his his um, joints on his wrist when you combine this with um, with the next I guess piece of accessory that he has the bracelet you won't see any any joints or anything on his wrist it's amazing and it's so versatile that you can use it on you know a bashed figure you know, if you wanted to put this on, on a different one so actually if you want to buy this figure and you just kind of gut it out and sell it on eBay if you just get some pieces I'm pretty sure you'll, you'll be fine even this um, this is gonna be a hard one because um, it's a really tiny piece some up oh, there you go some transparent you know you can see this transparency of the um, the cord it it's one of those I don't know what you call this like a radio that you you know put on your ear and like your secret service or something like that um, a radio I guess the easy way you know some communication device that you put on your neck I know I've seen this before some of, some of my teammates were using this back in the day when we were playing airsoft we mostly stuck with ESS you know some kind of thing that we press on our chest but this one is really tiny so I just put it on my uh, palm you go. some really good details on this bracelet as well I like the attention to detail that Hot Toys put into this figure even though he's not the most I would say, you know, popular figure out there. It's Stallone. It's the Expendables, you know. But the attention to detail, the skulls on this, uh, I would say it's pleather bracelet. It's just amazing. You know, they... Oh, one more thing. A cigar. I wish Wolverine came with this one. But I guess I could use it for him. There you go. I have a Wolverine figure as well. It's pretty sweet. Yep. He even has a hand that he can, you know, put this in between his fingers. So that's, this is not completely useless. You know, you can have him like, kind of like a smoking, 
um, posts and whatnot. You can see like a still burning. It's still burning. It's still feel the smoke coming out. Yep, it's pretty cool. All right, now we move on to the figure itself. Um, I'm gonna do some parts of this figure because, like I said. When I review them, you know, like right now we're looking at the boots and everything, but I want him to show, you know, different sides because his body is amazing as well. He has tattoos all over. Uh, so I'm going to do three parts of this figure. We'll start off with the default one. Here he goes, his pants, you know, not taking anything away. This, I didn't show this in the accessories because he came with this one. Um, everything's removable. The belt, the holsters, everything. That's the beauty on this figure. You know, it's so versatile that... You can sport so many looks, and like I said, you can gut this if you don't want the figure anymore. You, you can use his pants, his boots, a lot of things. But you can see that these, I don't know why you want to do that, because this is, you know, regardless of the movie, this is an amazing figure. Um, you can see his arm, you can see all the veins in there, it's, I love it. You can, I mean, the camera is so good, you can capture one of those, I don't know what those white stuffs are on his elbow, and probably some you know um plastic marks and whatnot because this has been in storage for a while i bought this new for a really good price awesome look at the tattoos and everything this looks like a bane body you know minus the bane mark on his you know on his torso his his um you know, what do you call this you know scrap scratches and what what do you call that you know but yeah I, I like the fact that he has veins a lot i mean we all know stallone is a veiny dude i don't know it's all this hgh that he's taking and the back part you know here he goes pretty cool you can remove the like i said this is the holster where you put the uh the six shooter app pretty cool on the back like I said, a bane body some tattoos there as well the expendables tattoo well captured this I this is one of the figures where he has a unique body, even though it's the same as Bane. I mean, his his outfit is kind of hard to put on and off because it's so tight. Sometimes it's scary, but it, when you see this body, I mean, this is just an option. They didn't have to put the tattoos on because no one's gonna see it unless you take off his shirt. But I like the fact that Hot Royce went the extra mile. Now look at this the, his head sculpt. Awesome, awesome head sculpt. I mean, he does have a blank stare, but anyone who knows Stallone, his eyes looks kind of dreamy anyway. Um, he only has the stash in Expendables 2. I kind of like his look better in Expendables 1, where he has the goatee. Now he kind of looks like a child molester, but it's okay. It's alright. Um, he has a lot of um, wrinkles, as we all know. He, he's he's kind of old now, Stallone, so can't really complain about that we're not looking for the rocky look back in the day but overall i think the sculpt is is, is decent i think it's it's actually good it's better than decent uh just what we wanted for his um for this figure and like i said it's versatile his head you know you don't need to swap it out or anything uh it's a lot of things that you can do and now we'll go to this pose um not pose but this outfit Wow, my, my lights are kind of washed out on this one, and I'm kind of shaking all over the place, but it's all right. There you go. Get a little bit closer. And we got to him. This is him with glasses and everything. And as usual, I'll, I'll start with the bottom. You've seen the shoes earlier, the pants and everything. Yeah, I just want to highlight the fact that e e this is an option. I like the fact that Hot Toys gave us this this another piece of you know clothing that he can wear i love it you know whether you know some every once in a while we want to mix it up a little bit although for the most part i'm going to use the tactical outfit but it's nice you know i can pick up a spare body you know a custom stallone you know barney ross head pop this 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 thing in and i'm, I'm all right i got a bunch of hands that's all you can ask for you know and it's it's beautiful you know it fits his body perfectly the sleeves you, you can utilize you know it's it's like a three-fourth sleeve you can still see the veins in his arms and everything awesome awesome piece you know and that's him sporting the hat and the glasses i, I don't even think that i i utilized maybe i did you know i think i did on the, on the next uh, post that i utilized the the ess goggles it's amazing 
There you go. A whole new look. It looks like a different figure altogether. This is the hand that holds the cigar, the one that I'm talking about earlier. You know, you can pose him like this. It's, it's amazing. I love it. Uh, I'm pretty sure you can use that hand for any other figures as well. You know, if I want to do my the Wolverine figure that I have, have him hold a cigar, I can do that as well. Because it doesn't have the, the glove thingy, so it's cool. All right, look at that. It's still low and trying to, um, you know, walk, walk the streets. So that's his casual wear. Nice, very nice. I like it. Let you soak into the, you know, his outfit. I think the next one we'll do is him in his just black T-shirt. I, I this is the this is not the one included in the vest because that's more of a longer shirt this is more of a i don't want to call it a tactical vest but just just you know like an under armor uh black t-shirt pretty cool you know nice looking he, he can sport this look as well without the hat you know he has his um his m4 on his uh shoulder just sitting there you know pretty cool looking some tattoos popping out with his big guns, I mean his arms, you didn't pick that up, yeah, but yep, it's a good look as well, you know, you, you can't, you can't argue, but, look at that, no hat, just glasses, it looks like a badass, this is, uh, I just went all out tactical on this one, him holding the M4, two guns on his holster, um, utilize the uh, ESS goggles with his uh, tactical beret. You know, it looks like he's he's ready to storm in. Even holding the foregrip on his gun. Pretty sweet looking. I mean, he doesn't have the double jointed elbow. So basically, whatever it is that your bang can do, he could. Um, he doesn't have the two point shoulder. I mean, elbow articulation. But I don't think you need it at this figure. He, he just looks like a badass look at him you know I mean you can make the argument that maybe he can lift his R you know his his gun a little bit higher but you know with, with the prices figures are, are going on right now this one you can pick up at sideshow collectibles and I put the I'll put the link later on it goes on sale every time so with the amount of accessory it's just pretty sweet look at him look at this guy yeah, I'll, I'm planning on um, having him sit to my uh, Terminator figure or my Gordon figure to have this tactical look going on. But who knows, you know, I'm, I'm planning to pick up Roadblock down the line as well. But not now, you know, I'll wait till that figure goes on sale a little bit. There you go, trying to make him look up. That's the problem with this figure. It doesn't really have much, you know, head articulation. It's okay, you know, it doesn't really bother me. No, just trying to zoom out a little bit so you can see the entire figure in its in its uh, tactical glory. And there you go. Um, this is Barney Ross from Expendables 2. Amazing figure. If you can find a great deal for this guy, I would say go for it. You know, it's it's well worth your money. I was one of the you know one of the guys who was like, eh, it's not really an iconic figure, but you know, for if you can get it, like I said, a good deal. The amount of accessories that you're getting is is great. You might not like the movie, but you'll love this figure. Love the figure so much that I watched the movie. All right, hit the subscribe button, and if you're planning to purchase this, just click the link below. It's still available at Sideshow Collectibles. Thank you, guys.